The Yakima River's beginnings lie on the east slope of the Cascade Mountains near Suwamie Pass and Lake Kachilas. It grows rather rapidly while being fed by numerous creeks and streams as it works its way eastward. By Cleellum, it is a mature river and it cuts astonishing canyons through basalts and sedimentary rock on its 200 mile plus journey to the Columbia River. The Yakima River is adorned by basalt cliffs, tall pines, sagebrush, scrub grass, weathered fence posts, aspens, and it hosts several species of fish, trout, salmon, and other species. Geologists tell us that the Yakima River is much older than Mount Rainier and that it has outlived several ancient volcanoes in the Cascade Range. The river inherited its name from the indigenous Yakima people who were here before Lewis and Clark discovered it at the confluence of it and the Columbia River at a place the Yakima people called the Meeting Place. So I dedicate this video to these people and all who appreciate the beauty of the lower Yakima River Canyon. Okay, everybody, we're headed to Eastern Washington again, and this time we're going to explore the Yakima River Canyon a little deeper. We're going to go south of Ellensburg, where the canyon is a lot deeper than it was on the old Highway 10. So, this is an extension of the last video that I did earlier, and we're still in the quarantine period, so it's just my daughter Angela and I, and we're headed out for a nice afternoon on this Sunday. So, on with the show. some old cannery buildings. I'm assuming these are old cannery buildings or processing buildings alongside the railroad tracks as we enter the Yakima River Canyon and I just thought they were rather interesting. So I was able to get some images of these old buildings. So enjoy.
This is the Canyon River Ranch, a landmark along the Yakima River. Though not the only option for river adventures, they certainly have plenty of amenities, including overnight lodging, a restaurant with a view, boat launch, guided services, and most importantly, a fly shop for all the right fishing tackle. In case you were unaware, the Yakima River bears the designation as a Blue Ribbon River. This identifies the Yakima as a recreational fishery of extremely high quality regarding trout. Washington's one and only. Geologists say that roughly between 16 and 14 million years ago, large amounts of lava oozed out of deep cracks in the Earth's crust multiple times and produced molten rock floods of cataclysmic proportions. More than one of these flows pushed into the gorge carved out by the Columbia River over the Yakima and out to as far as the Pacific Ocean. As layers of this molten rock slowly cooled, much of it shrank and cracked into hexagonically shaped columns. This rock is called basalt. You can see this column there, basalt, in the faces of these cliffs. Geologists say that the Yakima Canyon was the result of the old river slowly carving through uplifting basalt and sedimentary rock. This uplifting is caused by tectonic pressures deep beneath us. Observe the distinct layers of different lava flows. Through time, the Yakima River sliced through the layers of rock Laying on us this otherworldly scenic treasure, behold the Yakima River Canyon. I found an isolated tree, which is a rare finding for me, especially on the west side of the mountains. I've seen these great shots of, you know, one tree backlit and a nice background, and I think I finally found one for my collection. I've never had one like that before. I'm pretty excited. So here's the tree, if you can see it. We lost some of the backlighting already. But I'd already got a couple shots, so let's take a look. The sun's going to go down pretty soon. We're at the end of the canyon. We're getting close to Yakima. I think we're going to pack it up and turn around and head back, back to our homeland, uh, which is Ellensburg, then west of the mountains. So it was a nice trip. 
a nice way to spend the afternoon. As we are flatlining with coronavirus cases still happening, on this trip we practiced social distancing, only stopping for gas, and at prices I might mention that we haven't seen in 40 years. If you missed my Highway 10 video, the first of these two in series, an on-screen link will pop up next and you can select it. Also, if you would like to click on my face, you can learn of my next videos as they happen. So thanks for joining me and I'm looking forward to seeing you real soon. You're not still filming, are you? <laughs> Hi!